you can decorate your room and also a couple of tips on how you can organize your room. So excited for this video. I have been Instagramming about it and tweeting about it for the past couple of weeks because I'm so excited for you guys to see it. But before we get started, I do want to just let you guys know I got some of these ideas from Pinterest. I got some of them from other YouTubers. I'm not trying to take credit for them. I just figured I'd share them with you guys. So also, if you try any of these projects, be sure to send a picture to my Twitter and Instagram. One more thing. Sorry, I'm rambling. But tell me if you like the setup for my intros and outros and me just standing in front of a wall. I don't know. So let's get started. So I was looking for some new things to put on my closet when I thought of this DIY. All you need is some tape, you're going to need an old magazine that you don't mind cutting up, some skizzies, and some, a sharpie. So what you're going to do is think of a quote. Once you think of it, you just want to start flipping through the magazine and you want to look for cool backgrounds. It could be an ad, a model, whatever you prefer. And when you do find one, you want to trace out your first letter of your quote in bubble letters so that the whole um, word and background shows and then you're just going to cut it out. Really simple and it's going to look pretty cray at first but you just got to fix the edges and then you, to get the middle you just stab it and then go through the hole. You can get your anger out with this and it's so simple and then you just got to find new backgrounds and trace your letters over until um, you're done and I suggest a short quote. And for the two peas and happy, I just found two pages next to each other I liked and cut it out at the same time. Then I rolled up my tape in a little circle like you see and then I put it on the back of each letter, only one little piece of tape and I hung it up and I really, really love how this turned out. flammable candles that don't actually light up. So what you want to do is open your bag of sand. This is a little tricky for me and my muscles. And you're just going to start pouring it into your mason jar. And you want to just get a feel for how much you want in there. It took me a couple of tries. I had to like shake the mason jar up and stuff, but I ended up getting about two made mason jar. Just put in as much sand as you prefer. Then just grab your fake candle and stick it in there and press it down in the middle so some of the candle is hidden and you are done. It is literally so adorable and it looks so cute when like all your lights are off and it's the only thing on. I am absolutely in love with this DIY. So on this next DIY, all you need is a couple sheets of colored paper, a sharpie, some skizzes, and string. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold one piece of your colored paper in half the long way, and then in half the long way again. And then you're going to just trace half of a heart, and you're going to cut out to have two um, really cute hearts. And I did it with the rest of my colors, and I made sure they were different sizes, so it would just look pretty cool. So then I'm just going to lay them out. Lay them out next to each other, figure out what order I want them to go in, and then I'm going to lay out my string and I'm going to cut off all the excess string I don't need. Then I'm just taping these bad boys down, and you can go whatever order you want. I went blue, um, pink, green, pink, blue. So I didn't use one of the greens, but you know, it might come in handy later. So I just taped them all down and then it was flapping like crazy, so we'll fix that. So you can hang it wherever you want. I decided to hang it above my um, door, like at the top of my door. My back cut it off, but I taped down the hearts to the door so they won't fall off, but that's it. To create the spring holder, all you need is an old box, an old t-shirt, and some scissors. So to start off, you just want to cut off the sides of your box so you have an open box with no top or anything. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put your t-shirt over the box and measure the width, and you're going to want to cut out a couple of um, rolls of fabric, depending on how big your box is. I end up using three, and then you're just going to stick the rolls in like so. And when you're done, you can stick your rings in the cracks, and it looks so cute, and it's so and it works really well. Now it's time to organize. 
So my first tip is, I know I'm not the only one who has a crazy desk. Look at my drawer, there's all my pens and pencils and highlighters. So my tip is to get this um, drawer organizer from Target. Or you could even use little boxes. But what you wanna do is take out all of your things and then since my um, pens and pencils didn't fit all the way, I just like put them up on the side as you see. But it still looks super cute and it is so easy to find what I need now. And I know I have a collection of highlighters, but don't judge. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get this DIY brush holder. All you need is like a fish bowl and the sand we used earlier. So you're just going to pour the remaining sand into your fish bowl and get as high up or low up as you want. And then you're just gonna stick your makeup brushes in. And can I say, I used to have marbles and the sand works so much better. They stay right up. It's so easy to work with and it is so inexpensive and amazing. And I am just in love with this DIY. So that's gonna be it for today. Remember to thumbs up for more DIYs. And if you try out any of these projects, send it to my Twitter or Instagram and tag me. And I'll see you next time, bye. Thank you.